Mondays and I are having some scrambled quail eggs for lunch. Yes, lunch. This is a quick, easy lunch for us. We love quail eggs any way you can get them. We like them. Boiled, fried, scrambled, you name it. The boy's favorite is, of course, scrambled with ketchup. For those of you that don't eat your scrambled eggs with ketchup, I don't know what you're waiting for. You're missing out. just unplugged the incubators not the heating element but the turning element so now it's time to take the egg turners out because our quail eggs are gonna be hatching in three days time I am so excited we started our quail journey quite a while ago we bought 30 day old quail chicks about two was it two years ago or three years ago might have been three years ago anyway they were adorable. We brought them home and we raised them up and we got them healthy and had a great, and we started saying, wow, we have some unique looking quail. These are really interesting. If you want the story on all that, I'll leave a link to it up above. Those quail turned out to be partridge. So they weren't giving us the amount of eggs that we wanted. They're very close in size and care is the same we just needed more eggs so we ended up giving the partridge to our friend robert at daybird aviaries and then we were lucky enough to get some hatching eggs from our friends at the toasted rabbit she made me this awesome little tutorial of how to hatch my quail eggs with great detailed instructions. So we had 18 quail eggs and out of those 18, 13 hatched. Then we had our other friends at Living Miracle Homestead send us even more quail eggs. I think it was 40 at that time. So the first batch were mixed, the second batch were mixed as well and they were a mix of Quotrinix and Jumbo Quotrinix. So now, in these incubators, we have 90 more eggs to hatch, and these are all purebred from great genetic lines. 20 of them are the Fab Feel, which are the fairy eggs, which are rare, beautiful, gray, silver foliage, or not foliage, you can tell I'm a botanist, um, feathering and just a real pretty, nice size Kutcherinix. Then we have 20 of the Jumbo Meat Maker, which are really big. When I was putting these eggs in the incubator, I was like, wow, these are like bantam size almost. And those came from AJ Farms. AJ Farms also has a YouTube page called Evolution Homestead. Go check them out, as well as the Toasted Rabbit, who also has a YouTube page. Then one of our lovely subscribers sent us a gift certificate for 50 more quail eggs and they were the Texas A&M pure white Cotron eggs. So we have two incubators here that I have to get the egg turners out and get ready for them to start pipping. Quail eggs usually only take 18 days. Sometimes they start hatching early so we have to keep out we have to keep an eye out for that and it could be any day now last year last the last time we hatched them um they began hatching before the egg turners came out so i'm doing it a day sooner this time so it's always a good idea to do it as quickly as you can so that you don't allow them to get your chill and you just gently remove them from the egg turner Place them on the wire mesh. It's quite simple, really. Oh, I almost felt like I had felt movement in that one. Sometimes you'll see them start rocking just as soon as you've removed them. 
The rocking motion is a sign that they're going to be hatching soon. Oh, I definitely felt movement in that one. I can feel vibrations coming from it inside. These babies are quite large at this point inside these eggs. All right, we've got them all out. And something else I do at this point is I fill up a quart jar with the hottest tap water I can. Um, and I fill up every single one of the wells in the bottom of the incubator to make sure that the humidity is as high as it can possibly be during the hatch. Did you see that? That egg right there just rocked. We might have some early hatching. I'm going to be a little honest about these ones. I'm not as sure that they're going to do as well. This little giant incubator I've never used before. It was gifted to me this year. And um, so that's part of my reason for being unsure. Another part of the reason is that they sent some pretty dirty eggs. Um, when you're picking out eggs to incubate, you want to pick your cleanest eggs. This is not clean. There are several others in here that have a lot of spots that are not spots, but rather poop and, you know, debris on them. So there's feathers stuck to some, there's debris on some, so they're not as clean as I'm used to hatching. Although, I do have some in here that have almost a bluish green tint to them, so if I get that celadon um, genetics, I'll be pretty happy anyway. Another reason why I'm not so sure how well they're going to hatch is because as I moved them over from the egg turner into the incubator, a lot of them felt really light. Really light eggs is a sign that they didn't reach full maturity. So we can't candle these eggs because they're so thick. I've never been able to get a good picture inside of quail eggs. So I'm just hoping that at least most of them hatch. And even though we ordered 50, they did send 60 eggs. Two of them um, were rotten and had to be removed from the incubator during hatch. And these are from the Georgia Mad Hatcher. So I am super excited to see how these do. These are three different purebred quail breeds. So I'm really excited to see the differences between the three. And I hope that you guys are too, because I'm going to keep an eye on them and keep some keep track of some things. You know, watch which ones grow faster, see which ones eat more, um, which ones seem to be the easier to handle, easier to hatch. And I'll let you know as we go on this journey. If you have any questions about hatching out quail or how to keep quail on your homestead, how to cook quail or quail eggs, any of those questions, just let me know down in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video about quail and just know that yeah we're pretty obsessed with them and we're going to be getting into more quail things in the future let me know what videos you'd like to see us to put out about quail and we will do our best to try to make more quail videos for you guys that are interested thank you guys for watching please like share comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time on wholesome roots